right, so now we're gonna talk about the fiberglass tank adapter. This one is a little bit different, um, but for the most part, the same when it comes to uh, installation. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do, clean the area around uh, where the tank opening is at. So you wanna avoid getting any dirt or anything like that in there, as I mentioned. Uh, you know, grab the vacuum, try to clean that as best you can. And then what you're gonna wanna do with this one is it doesn't have the pre-drilled bolt holes like the uh, plastic uh, ring tank adapter. So this one, and the reason that they do that is they, they're aware that you could be putting this over a square opening, you could be putting this over a round opening. So they kind of give you the freedom to, to put the bolts where you see fit. Now it comes with, in the bolt kit, uh, six bolts. Try to do one on each corner and then, um, you know, one, on the opposite edges uh, if possible. Um, so once we've got that in place and we've identified where we're going to actually do our bolts, uh, use a quarter inch drill bit and drill your holes in the uh, tank adapter. That way you can go back to your tank and use this as a guide, use a uh, pencil or a Sharpie or something and mark on the tank where you're gonna actually install those bolts. Uh, that way you can then pull this off use your drill with a quarter inch masonry drill bit and drill out those holes about uh, three quarters of an inch deep and then install the, um, the expansion bolts. And then once those expansion bolts are in place, just like we did on the PRTA, we use the, <laughs> there goes the wind. We use the, uh, just like I mentioned here, and that mastic is gonna go around the, uh, the, the exterior of the seal. Uh, with this one, you can try to get it on the inside of where the bolts are located, but it's a little bit less important with this one, just because you've got so much lip on either side, it is possible to create a seal outside of where the bolts are at or inside of where the bolts are at and still have it be a reliable watertight seal. Um, so once you've got the bolts installed and in place, then you're gonna transition to getting the mask on, set that in place, bolt it down, and then we transition to epoxy. So again, you use the MA320 on this one. So same epoxy as the last one. You know, cut the corner off, use about half the bag once again, and you run a bead all the way around. Now I would shoot for dead center on this uh, as best you can. And that way it's gonna spread out as, as much and as evenly as it possibly can. And uh, once you've got that bead, run all the way around using approximately, again, half the bag, You'll then take your riser and set it in place. Now this one, you can definitely give it a little bit of a turn. I would, I would set it down and probably turn it a quarter of an inch or better. And then um, uh, once you've got this set down in place, then you take the remaining half of that MA320 epoxy and you run that on the inside lip here. Now let me pull this down so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So we've got the inside lip that runs all the way around. So you would use the remaining uh, half of that epoxy to run all the way around. And once again, we'll provide you with one of these tongue depressors. You can then scrape that excess epoxy out of the way. Uh, that way, you know, it's a nice, clean, tidy looking installation. No reason to have epoxy running all over the place. And once you've got that epoxy in place, then it's just a matter of throwing the lid on one of these nice lightweight fiberglass lids, as I mentioned, 2,200 pound load rating. Um, this guy is gonna be ready to bury in 24 hours. So come back the next day, throw the dirt in, away you go. No more digging up your, uh, your heavy concrete tank. Uh, no more digging up your heavy concrete lid. No more uh, worrying about that problem. It's, it's totally gone. Uh, the nice thing about going with this system is these risers come, this is, I believe, an eight inch riser. So we do have eight inch risers, but after that, uh, we go to 12 inch, and then it's six inch increments from there. So you can order a variety of sizes, you know, 12 inch, 18 inch, uh, 24, and so forth, adding six inches all the way up. The longest risers that we have available are 14 feet. So you can see that we can definitely get some pretty deep tanks. The quick recap on this one is excavate, clean up the area as best you can, then figure out where you're gonna set your bolts, drill the holes for the bolts, pre-drill them in the fiberglass, Go ahead and use your fiberglass uh, tank adapter for the uh, guide for where you're gonna mark on the tank. Use your quarter inch masonry drill bit to drill those out, quarter, third, uh, about three quarters of an inch. 
tap in place the expansion bolts, then apply your mastic uh, all the way around the tank adapter, set that in place, bolt it down. Now we're ready for epoxy. We're gonna apply the epoxy uh, on this about halfway up. And then once that is set on, try to give it a little bit of a rotation. And then we do the epoxy on the interior and then clean it up with the tongue depressor, set the lid on, bolt it down, and away we go. Hey, so that's it. So thanks for joining us today on another great video. Don't forget you can find all these products on rcworst.com. Don't forget also to like and subscribe for more content. We'll see you next time.